You want to know what really grinds my gears? When people say yes to the blockchain technology, but no to Bitcoin, which is the best known implemented use case of said technology. It is idiotic in my opinion, it truly triggers me, and the last person to say this statement, or at least the most important person to say this statement recently, is Jamie Dimon, of course. And anytime you turn on CNBC, anytime you watch Bloomberg or Bloomberg Technology, anytime you read the Wall Street Journal, or listen to any trader or gold bug talk about Bitcoin, a lot of them are going to talk about how they like the blockchain technology, believe it's going to revolutionize the world, but think that Bitcoin is nothing more than a speculative asset that's going to go to zero. And it is amazing to me that these people that don't understand the technology can talk so negatively about Bitcoin. Because where they're drawing this information is all from the dot-com bubble, right? That's really where they're getting that intuition that the technology is going to be useful, but the particular products that come with that technology can come and go. And so their opinion is that essentially Bitcoin is going to go the way of the dot-com bubble and it's eventually going to burst. What's amazing to me is that a lot of these same people, when they say yes to the blockchain technology, they're not talking about other public blockchains like Ethereum and Litecoin. They're talking about permission blockchains that are basically private. And as a result of them being private, they're not truly immutable, which is one of the greatest benefits of public blockchains. And in addition to that, they really aren't that revolutionary. They are essentially a shared database with some increased security features. For example, you now have cryptography, and if any of the nodes within the network get compromised, in other words, if any of the companies within the network get compromised, the other nodes within the network do not have to confirm the transactions of that particular company, and therefore any compromises within the network will not compromise the security of the entire network which usually was the problem with previous implementations of shared databases. And so, yes, it is an improved security feature. It may remove some middlemen that were otherwise part of that economy and therefore increase some efficiencies. But there's also the flip side of the scenario as well. Generally, when we decentralize certain applications, we're going to increase latency and we're going to decrease throughput. So a private blockchain is really compromising some of the efficiencies that we see with some of the backdoor office functions that we see in some financial firms as well as other firms throughout the world for some increased security features that really aren't that great when you consider the fact that you still have to trust the other nodes in the network because there's so few of them. And so in the end a permission blockchain in my opinion is an innovation that increases security but it's not going to revolutionize the world. And so the people who tell you that they believe in the permission or private blockchain or the business blockchains between banks or between different institutions. I think those people are completely clueless about what they're talking about. And it is so pathetic to me that these same people say no to Bitcoin just because its growth has been parabolic. There's no reason to say no to Bitcoin just because it has some characteristics of a speculative bubble. Certainly you can argue that point. But you can't just dismiss Bitcoin as a result of it. It is the best known implementation of public blockchain technology. And as a result of that, it has the greatest implementation of decentralization out of any cryptocurrency due to the size of its network. We have thousands of developers that are working on it, although we really only have a few that are important. And when you think about the long term of what Bitcoin is going to provide, it is going to be a cryptocurrency or currency that tries to escape the traditional bindings of the financial world and provide ways for people to be their own bank. And when you think about distrust that people have in banks, about 30% of people, I think it's like 36% actually, have any faith in the banks at all. And that number was even lower if you looked at it a year ago and forget about it if you go back to 2008. I think it was like 12% then. And that's how it's going to go. And eventually at some point people are going to say that the banks are, and you're already seeing it now, they're talking about how banks are a scam, they don't trust the banks, they don't trust the government, they don't trust anything. And Bitcoin is a way to have an entirely trustless network for the people by the people. And that is why Bitcoin is such an important revolution. It is immutable. And it is, in a way, unstoppable. 
that in my opinion is what so many people miss when they talk about the blockchain technology separate from Bitcoin Bitcoin is the mascot of blockchain technology Bitcoin is blockchain now I'm not saying there can't be other implementations of it because of course Bitcoin is focused on the financial industry and there's tons of other applications that you can use with public blockchain technology as evident by the thousands or however many other cryptocurrencies we have it's not that important but when we think about the top hundred or so there's so many different use cases that you can see within just those that public blockchain technology can completely revolutionize many industries but it cannot be controlled through companies and that's the problem all these companies have is that they cannot control it and that's why all these Wall Street executives and all of these experts of a time past are trying to say that the permission blockchain is going to be the revolution and they're so completely wrong anyway at least for once you guys get to see a slightly more positive video on Bitcoin I know that I've been having a couple of negative videos in terms of talking about the price action and I hope what you all can keep in mind is that when I talk about Bitcoin in most cases on this channel I'm talking about it as a trading asset and not as a technological revolution and of course it can get overpriced anything can get overpriced that doesn't mean that I don't believe in the Bitcoin technology or its future or that it's not going to be worth more five to ten years from now so if you have felt that I'm bearish on Bitcoin or don't believe it's a good investment I understand where you're coming from I'm probably gonna make a separate video on that at some point here but just know this is how I feel about the Bitcoin technology and I'm right there with you I really am I hope you all enjoyed this video as usual leave a like comment and subscription and I will get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching